welcome back to our channel brain tech we are so happy to have you back do well to subscribe to our channel if you are yet to this will help you to stay abreast with our future videos briefly i'll be showing you how to solve insufficient storage issues on your zender app what is zender zender is an app that aids in sharing content from one phone to another be it android be it iphone zender was first developed for android os as android software but luckily iphones users are now enjoying zender zender has helped to replace bluetooth and equally our primitive friend infrared so how can you do this how can you solve your uh, storage issues on zender because most times when you want to share contents from one phone to other uh, to another you will see that the content you have shared has stopped sharing maybe after it has started and it stops halfway why does it happen at a point you make some investigations and you discover that it was caused by storage issue but in this video i'll show you how to solve that with a very simple step let us go to our zender app so i can show you what i mean practically our zender app has just opened so how can you solve this storage issue so that next time you are sharing your content on zender it will not tell you insufficient content i mean to say sorry to say insufficient storage uh, content can share and the rest of it so locate the three dotted lines at the left hand screen on the top uh, part of the zender app click on the three dotted lines that's taking you to this page locate setting setting is the third option on this page language enable wi-fi direct and the third is settings so click on your settings you are now in settings as you can see you have seen storage location click on your storage location it has opened this option why is it showing full storage only without showing any other storage option why it is happening like this is simply because there is no external memory uh, sd that is external memory card on this device if this device had an external memory card it would have shown in this place so what you simply do is if uh, actually the device you are using at an external sd card it will show you but like this zender is not giving any issue because there's enough storage on the device so if it had issue i would have inserted my external uh, uh, memory card and it would, it would have shown here it would have shown it would have it, it would have shown as external storage so what you need to do is having at like two different storage locations what you need to do is to select the second storage because while select, selecting the second storage, it simply means that while you add insufficient 
storage issues on your Zender previously, it means that the first storage, which is the phone storage as field, as full. So by selecting the second storage with this green uh, uh, logo, it means that you have selected another storage. So when you select another storage, sometimes it will ask you for permission. Do well to accept the permission in order to apply for the external storage. After you might have done that, you see that your content will start sharing again on your Zender app. And automatically, your Zender app will be more useful after you might have done that. But in this case, there is no external storage. That is why it is showing just one storage location. Then while doing that, there is one thing you, you must take note. While trying to select another storage for your Zender app to start working again in this location, you need to create a folder. You can name it Zender or you can just allow it like that and then select the external storage as your storage location on your Zender app automatically to create a folder for the process. Thank you for watching this video. If you are yet to subscribe to our channel, do well to do that. Thank you for watching.